Hey guys, what's going on? Alex Crumpton here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my four step process that I'm using to massively increase my average order value for every product that I test. So I'm gonna show you an automated process that basically once you've implemented it, there's no additional work. So you'll have upsells, cross sells applied to every product that you test automatically from the product page to the cart page, checkout page, and thank you page. You'll be able to increase your average order value on every single page. Um, going forward. So if you're interested in learning that then stay tuned. Also if you find any value in this video whatsoever be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, leave a like and a comment down below, tell me what you thought to support the channel so I'll keep producing valuable content going forward. So the first thing you want to do is create a collection for all of your products. So click create a collection. It only takes two seconds so we just call it all. And then what I'll do is put the weight is less than 40 pounds. And by default, um, Shopify will put all your products, if they're imported from AliExpress, to like zero pounds. So this will cover all your products. So click Save. Okay, so the way I increase my average order value on my product page is I use an app called Discounted Pricing by Boost Apps. So you can download it in the Shopify store. Shopify App Store and it literally takes like 30 seconds to set up and you can have um, a bundling or volume discount applied to all of your products on your store and every product that you test going forward will have these discounts automatically applied. So you go on create offer here and then you go select offer type you want volume discount and then you want add tier add tier and then put two two, three, and four, and then 10, 15, and 20. So that's gonna apply a discount based on the quantity that the customer selects. So you're basically incentivizing um, the customer to buy more of the same product. And then you wanna go select collections that will have these volume discounts applied and then go on all. And there's a reason why I've chose this all collection here um, rather than apply these volume discounts across the entire store. And the reason being is that I'm going to be adding in some products manually in a bit that I don't want to include this discount on. So I just create a collection with all and it includes kind of pretty much all my products on the store. And then you want to go on per product and then click save and you'll now have a, a volume discount applied across your whole store. So we'll just check out, see what it looks like. Okay, so here you can see the um, the apps in use. So buy at discounted prices when you buy two plus, ten percent off, three plus, fifteen percent off, or four plus, twenty percent off. And when the customer acts, so let's say the customer orders three, they'll add it to cart, and then this fifteen percent discount will be automatically applied. So it, this is a great way to get the customers to buy more of the same product, and particularly with products like gadgets and home household items. It works really well because they're the sort of products that the customer is going to want to buy more of rather than just buying one. Okay, so now we're going to do our warranty upsell. Um, so for this, you need to create a product manually in your Shopify store. So what you do is go to products and then click add product here. Again, this doesn't take long at all. So title, put something like want a lifetime warranty with your purchase. Um, you can include a description here, just given the terms and conditions of the warranty, etc. I'm not going to do that now because it'll take ages, but so you, I'll put it at 9.99 and then you don't want to charge taxes on the product. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put the product to 50 pounds and there's a reason for this. Again, you'll, it'll become more clear in a bit. And then, sorry, I forgot to add the image. So you need to add an image. What I do is go to Google Images and just type in like lifetime warranty or something and loads of different images will come up. And then you want to go lifetime, select your image that you want. 
you also want to make sure that the image is transparent it has a transparent background so it's not it doesn't have like a black background or something which is going to look weird or doesn't integrate well with your store so that's that's good to go now okay so to create the warranty upsell and to integrate it into the store what I'm going to do is use an app called InCart Upsell by Awesome Software and it's just an easy to use app where you can add in an InCart Upsell. Now there's loads of different um, apps which allow you, which can do this, um, so do a bit of research, but this is just the app that I use um, because it's easy and it literally can set it up in seconds. So go create a new offer and then you want to put your title to be like warranty. And then add a product to the offer. So we want the warranty offer. Want a lifetime warranty with your purchase. And then you can change the look and feel a bit. Um, so I'll do, I'll remove this bit here and just keep the product title. So it just says want to want want a lifetime warranty with your purchase. And then I'll change that to like yes, please. And then triggers. So the trigger will be, so add rule. And then you want to do it from collection and go on all. So it will be applicable to all products um, from now and going forward for any new products that you test. And then literally just click save offer. And what that will do now is in your cart you'll have an, an, a cross sell of want a lifetime warranty with, with your purchase. Okay, so as you can see now, once the customer has added a product to cart, um, this what lifetime warranty will automatically be in every single cart um, for all of your products. So all the customer has to do is click yes, please. And then what that will do is add the product to the cart and you've added an extra $10 to your average order value. Okay, so here's how I set up my shipping um, for my Shopify store to help increase average order value even further. So I'll have a standard shipping, tracked and insured at $2.99. And then I'll have a first class shipping option, tracked and insured, $4.99. So essentially these two are exactly the same thing. You're just tricking the customer into spending a bit more on shipping than they need to. Um, if you're going to include this, make sure you're using e-packets. You have actually got tracking information. You don't want to put tracked and insured and then don't actually send a tracking number to the customer because that's just going to cause those customer service issues. Um, you also want to make sure the processing time for the supplier isn't too long. And then I have a final shipping option which is a weight based rate. Um, so remember earlier where I set the um, the warranty to £50, the weight of it. And this is the reason because for 0 to £25, if that's the order weight, then this option will be available. However, if the customer chose the warranty in their cart, so they added the warranty to their cart, um, they want wanted the warranty, then this shipping option will not be displayed at checkout. However, if the customer didn't choose the warranty at cart, as we showed earlier, um, then this shipping option will be displayed because their order range weight will fall within this range. And then what I offer is a first class shipping tracked and insured, which is $5 here, with warranty, lifetime warranty, the whole package for $10. So the customer feels now they're getting a really good bargain because they've previously seen in their cart that the warranty was $10 and they can see here that first class shipping is $5. So now with this new um, bundle here, they're getting the whole lot for $10. So this is a great way to add on an extra $10. And none of this is costing you any more money. So it's an extra $10 of clean profit margin that you can get out of the customer by tricking them into thinking that they're getting extra things. Okay, so if we add the warranty to cart, add it to cart and then proceed to checkout. As you can see, the only available shipping options are the standard shipping tracked and insured and the first class shipping tracked and insured because you wouldn't want to display um, offering a warranty within the shipping if they've already previously chose the warranty here. Okay, so if the customer chooses not to have the warranty here and they just click checkout without pressing yes please, they'll go to checkout but now they're actually being upsold the warranty again 
with these shipping options. So first thing they'll see is standard shipping, $299, first class shipping, tracked and insured, $499, but then they see this option here and it seems like a really good deal. So they're getting the $599 um, first class shipping, but they're also getting the ten, the $999 lifetime warranty with this shipping all for just $999. And so you'd be surprised the amount of customers that actually just think, oh, I'll have that. It seems like a really good deal. Then you're getting an extra $10 here. Even when they previously hadn't actually chose the warranty, they end up just choosing it anyway at checkout by implementing this method. So it's a great way to increase your average order value without actually having to put in any extra work or complex upsells or anything. You just implement this, what I've shown you here. And it's a great way to just add on extra revenue, extra profits to all your orders. Okay, so another app that I use to increase my average order value when testing products is an app called Reconvert. And this is a great little app because once you've set it up, it'll automatically try and resell the same product to the customer regardless of what product you sell. And it basically enables you to customize the thank you page um, and add in different things to get more uh, value out of the customer. So what you do is you click create a new template and by the way this is a really cheap app you get like a 30 day free trial and the amount that you pay put for the monthly fee is dependent on the amount of orders you're getting so it's not like there's huge risk in getting this app because you only pay once you're making more money anyway so so here's the like default um, Shopify thank you page so what I'm going to do with this app is amend this page to add in um, some more upsells to basically increase my average order value post purchase. So what you want to do is go to the left area, add section, and then what you want is you want reorder and then click add. And then what you can do is customize it. So you want to put something like um, one item left in stock and then you want another now for extra you want to give quite a big discount to increase your chances of getting the upsell because you've already acquired the customer so it's okay to sacrifice a bit more margin um, because you're not having to respend any money on ads or anything. So I'd put it at about 30%. Another now for today only. And do make this bold. I just want to amend the color so it fully stands out on the thank you page. I want to make this bigger as well. And you also want to change this button color to the same button color that you use for um, your product pages so it's congruent throughout the whole funnel. So as you can see now you've got the, what I do is centralize it as well to make it look a bit neater. Obviously, I've done this really quick. You would make it look a bit better than this and maybe try a different text out, see which works better. You can also change the button text as well. Just put something like yes, please. So as you can see now, once the customer gets their confirmation email, first thing they'll do is obviously check that email. The open rate will be really high because they want to make sure the order has been processed. They'll scroll down, then they'll see something like this one item left in stock, claim another now for an extra 30% off today only. Um, and all they have to do is click yes please and it will take them to the cart and the checkout process for the product that they've just ordered. So it works great at getting getting the customer to buy more of the same product as we've talked about earlier. So what, no matter what product they've all previously ordered, this will automatically um, try and resell them the same product again and automatically apply this discount here so you just put your discount in here so it's a great way to increase your average order value and there's also another little thing that you can do as well so you can go in uh, if we go in 
to general settings and then we go with pop up with timer and then click enable pop up and then you can just add in stuff here like 30 minutes 30 percent off everything i'll put a big delay because you want them to give them a chance to actually read the um checkout page as well so for 20 seconds you open a new window you put your store url here you click preview pop up so you've also got this way to sell them more to basically put one time offer for the next 30 minutes only get 30 percent off everything um, and there's a little timer here so you can click shop now and then that'll take them to the store to buy more products um, so again this is another great way to increase your average order value post purchase and, it purchase, and it's a really cheap app to use um, and it automatically gets applied to any product on your store so it just streamlines the whole process and there's no real added work once you've set this up. Okay, so here's what most people do um, when they test a product. They'll run an advert, product page, and then the final purchase. And that's it. There'll be no kind of upsells, cross-sells. There'll be no funnel that the customer goes through where they get extra revenue out of the customer. So this is very limited to in terms of your profitability and the amount that you can spend on acquiring a customer. Because let's say the product price is you're selling a product for $30 that costs $10 on Aliexpress. You're only giving yourself $20 profit margin in order to acquire the customer. So you're going to need to acquire a customer in like $10, $15 in order to make even a little bit of profit. Whereas following the steps that I've previously outlined in this video, this is how the funnel works. So you have the advert, the product page, the customer likes the product, they want to buy the product. Then you hit them with a volume discount where you give them, you incentivize an increased um, volume of the product ordered for a percentage off of the entire order. Um, so they end up buying more than one of the product. Then when they hit the cart, you upsell them with or cross sell them with a warranty uh, for $10. So it can add an extra $10 of clean profit. Then in the checkout, you have all that shipping process where you have the first class shipping and you even include the warranty there if they didn't previously purchase it in the cart. So the checkout, again, is another way to squeeze extra revenue out of the purchase. Then when they get to the thank, thank you page, you've also got the um, bit that I showed you earlier where you have try and get them to buy more of the same product again. Then you also have a pop-up which takes them back to the whole store where they get 30% off everything where they can just add that to the order and buy more products to increase the average order value before they actually make the final purchases and leave your store. And then, like, I haven't talked about this in this video, but you should be having a post-purchase email flow, at least a three-part post-purchase sequence where you try and sell them more products and try to get them to agree to add more products to the order before it gets sent out. And the same with the post-purchase messenger flow. So the Facebook messenger, you want to be sending them other promotions and also the post-purchase SMS flow. So text message, trying to get them to buy more products from your store um, straight after they were reasonably just purchased from you. So overall, like even if, let's say, like a bad case scenario, they only end up, up um, Kind of taking one of these extra sales throughout the process that, that can easily add an extra ten dollars of clean profit onto um, your order which means you can spend ten dollars more to acquire the customer or you just get ten dollars extra profit per order that you process whereas here you you're very limited you're going to have to be extremely good at marketing and have extremely high click-through rates to be profitable on the front end whereas here by implementing all these steps, and all these steps are fully automated as well. Once you set them up, they'll be automatically applied to every order, every product that you test going forward. So your profit margin is going to be much higher. You're going to be able to spend more to acquire the customer, and you're going to be able to scale so much harder and for longer as opposed to if you're just doing this. So I definitely advise to follow the steps that I've outlined in this video, each and every step. Make sure you implement them and when you test products you should notice a difference and an increase in your average order value obviously this is kind of applicable to when you're testing products when you scale products it's a different ball game you need to be um, testing different products that you can upsell and you will use post purchase upsell apps such as zipify um, which is like a one-click upsell and you can have a three-part sequence to take the customer through a post purchase sequence of events to sell them more products 
Um, but I wouldn't advise that when testing because it's a lot more manual. Um, you have to go in and do things. So it's only really worth doing when you're scaling. It's also quite an expensive app. Um, so I'd say just stick for this when you're testing products and then by all means explore other options when you um, start to scale uh, your winning product. Okay, so thanks for watching that video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've found lots of value, but be sure remember to implement this right away. It takes literally half an hour of your time to get it all set up so you have automated systems to increase your average order value for every product that you test going forward. So this is a great way to offset the increasing CPMs which are inevitably going to get higher in 2019. So if you enjoyed this video, then I'll see you in the next video. And if you're new here, remember to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you soon.